NCM African. Hello, fashion lovers, welcome back. This video is all about making a gigog sleeve. A gigog sleeve is a sleeve that has a combination of a pencil sleeve and a puff sleeve. So, if you are new to this channel, I want to say thank you for stopping by and do not forget to hit the subscribe button. In this channel, I make and share videos on fashion DIYs from dressmaking, bag making, and fashion accessories. Please hit the subscribe button and without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is to draft a basic sleeve pattern. I have a detailed video already on how to draft a basic sleeve pattern and I'll be leaving that in the description box. So go ahead and draft your basic sleeve pattern depending on the length of the sleeve you want, depending on how long or short you want your sleeve. So it could be three quarter short sleeve or a long sleeve. So I'll be making mine a short sleeve. So after drafting your basic sleeve the next thing you want to do you are going to determine you are going to determine where you want your puff to be so i want my puff to be at seven inches so i'm just going to mark seven inches from my sleeve cap i'm just going to mark seven inches so this is where i want my puff to start from I will either open this up and complete my line. So after marking where you want your puff sleeve to end, so it could be at your bicep, your elbow, or wherever you want your puff sleeve to end. So mine will be ending around my bicep. Like so after making this line, the next thing I'm going to do, I'll go ahead and measure around my arm hole. And after measuring my armhole, what I have is 18 inches. So I'm going to be using my round armhole measurement and, and the measurements I got from my sleeve cap to wherever I want my puff to start from. So that those are the measurements I'm going to be using to cut out the puff part of my sleeve. And I'm going to be using this to cut out the puff part of my sleeve. You can actually use any material of your choice. You can combine yours. You can use Ankara fabric or true. So, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be using this Ankara fabric and this door face satin. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to fold this into four to cut out my flay. So, after measuring my round arm hole, what I got was 18 inches. So, I'm going to be dividing, I'm going to be dividing 18 inches by 6 inches. So, go ahead and measure your round arm hole, whatever thing you get. Whatever measurement you get divided by six inches. So after measuring my round arm hole, I got 18 inches. I'll be dividing 18 inches by six inches. So 18 inches divided by six will give me three inches. So I'll be using three inches to form an arc on this part. But if you want to have some pleats around your arm hole area, you should take more than three inches. So I'll be using three and a half inches to form my radius instead of three inches. So after marking this, the next measurement I'm going to be marking is my puff length. So I took 7 inches from my cap height to this point. This is where I want my puff sleeve to start from. Like I said earlier, you can go down a bit depending on where you want your sleeve to start from. But I want mine to start from 7 inches. So from my cap height to this place is 7 inches. So I'm just going to mark seven inches. I'm not going to leave it at seven inches. I'm adding extra four inches for my puff volume. You can make yours three, four, or five inches depending on the amount of fabric you have and depending on how full and saggy you want your puff sleeve to be. So after marking this, I'll bring my tape back to this point and I'm going to measure. So after measuring, I have 15 inches. So I'll be using this 15 inches to form another arc just like this. So you're going to be cutting this just the way you cut your full flay. After doing this, I'll go ahead and cut this out. After cutting my flay, 
I'm going to keep this aside and come back to my basic sleeve. So at this point where I have this mark, I'm going to be measuring this. This point where I want my pulse sleeve to start, I'm going to measure this. And what I have here is exactly 13 inches. So I'm going to be forming my gathers around these 13 inches. But let me show you a very simple and easy way to form your gathers. You can have some perfect gathers and spread them evenly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my hand needle and thread. So I got 13 inches after measuring this. So I'm just going to make my thread 13 inches. So this is exactly 13 inches. So I'll be using my needle and thread to gather my flay before attaching it on my basic sleeve. So I'll come to this part, the wider part of my flay, that is the down part of my flay. I'm going to start from one end. I'm just going to start from this end. And I'll be making, I'll be using my needle and thread to gather this. So I've used my needle and thread to gather my sleeve. So with this method, you'll be able to gather your sleeve perfectly. So you'll be able to spread the gathers perfectly. So after gathering this, you can see I still have my 13 inches. What I will do, I'm going to place my sleeve. I'm going to place my sleeve on my basic pattern, right side facing right side. So I'm just going to place this gathered part on my basic sleeve. And I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to be sewing this on my basic sleeve. So remember, I'm placing this at this point where I have this mark. This is where I want my puff sleeve to start from. So I'm just going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to attach this on my basic sleeve. So after sewing this at that line where I want my puff sleeve to start, the next thing I'm going to do I'm just going to look for the midpoint of my sleeve. So at the top of my sleeve here, I'm just going to notch the center. And I'll notch the center of this. And I'm going to take it up. So I'm just going to let the two centers meet. So I'm flipping this over to the top of my sleeve after notching the center of my flay and the center point of my sleeve and I'm going to be using my office pin to pin this together. I'll be fixing this around my armhole so I'm just going to start from here. So you can see I have a little excess, whatever excess you have, go ahead and pleat the excess you have around your armhole. So I'm just going to Take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to be attaching this to my armhole. So whatever excess you have, just go ahead and spread it by pleating it on your basic sleeve. So after sewing it around my armhole like this, I also went ahead to pleat the excess I have. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'll be bringing these two sides together just the way you join your normal sleeve. So remember to cut your basic sleeve with your seam allowance. So I'm going to bring the two sides of my sleeve like this. And I'm going to take this to my sewing machine. And I'll be sewing this up according to the seam allowance I left for my sleeve. So after joining the sides of my sleeve, I'll go ahead and turn this out. After turning out my sleeve, I've gone ahead to fix it on my mannequin. You can see how beautiful and full it's looking. So the essence of the 4 inches I added to my puff sleeve length was to give it this full volume around the sleeve and to make it sag. 
So please let me know what you think about this tutorial in the comment section and please my wonderful viewer encourage me by giving this video a like and subscribe if you are yet to do so. Thank you and see you in my next video. Bye.